Hi guys, so this is Ms. Heisman and today we're talking about the circulatory system. Specifically, we are going to be talking about blood and lymph nodes. So, whoops, go back, really. There we go. Okay, so blood has four major parts. Uh, plasma, which is this yellowish kind of liquid that holds, let me move this out of the way that holds everything in a matrix, pretty much. Then you have white blood cells, which help to fight off disease. They attack invaders. And you have platelets, which actually help a ton with um, clotting. So it keeps your blood from basically bleeding forever, so you don't bleed to death from a paper cut kind of thing. And then you have your red blood cells, which carry oxygen to the uh, all the cells of your body. So uh, blood vessels in the cardiovascular system reach throughout the entire body, and blood flows through these to every organ. And blood consists of a liquid plasma and three kinds of cells. You've got your red blood cells here that carry oxygen throughout the body. And your blood contains more red blood cells than any other kind of blood cell. You've got your white blood cells like this guy here. And they cause, um, they basically fight off disease causing organisms, viruses, bacteria, that sort of thing. And then you have your platelets move me again. Uh, these basically are sort of weird deformed uh, cells that stop uh, your blood flow. So like you get a paper cut and they will line up and sort of get in the way of the blood flow, which basically is clotting, which causes um, you to not bleed to death from paper cut. So uh, as part of this, you also have a lymphatic system. So some of the liquid part of your blood actually leaks out of the vessels into what's called the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is this group of organs and vessels and tissues that protect you from infection. They keep you healthy. They keep a balance of fluids within your system. These would include things like bone marrow. Here, I'm going to move me again. There we go. They include things like bone marrow, uh, your thymus, your lymph nodes. You can feel, if you get sick, sometimes you'll feel a lump right here. Those are your lymph nodes. Um, also, this is these are vein-like vessels, and they return the lymph fluid back into your bloodstream. And so, as you can see in the picture, they go all the way throughout your body right next to your vessels, your blood vessels, so that they can return all of that liquid back into your bloodstream so that you don't lose it. And finally, we have our quiz. The heart's upper chambers are called, it's correct, those are the atrium. Nutrients are exchanged between the blood and the body in, the body cells in capillaries. Remember the super thin ones? Hold on, let me move me again. Keep having to do that. Okay, your heart rate and pulse is really there. Uh, your heart rate or pulse are done in beats per minute. Uh, components, <clears throat> the blood component that helps you stop bleeding is the platelets. The blank are the narrowest blood vessels. Those would be your capillaries. They or the blank system is involved in returning fluid to the bloodstream. That should be the, not they. And that would be your lymphatic system. A normal adult's blood pressure should be about, it's right, 120 over 80 or less. Either way, it can be a little less than 120, a little less than 80, but if it's higher than that, then we start looking at that maybe being a problem. A good resting heart rate should be between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Arteries uh, take blood away from the heart. Remember, arteries take blood away. And a pacemaker actually uses electricity to shock the heart and keep it going at a steady rate. Okay, 
So this is the review part of our last section, blood and lymph, for our circulatory system. Good luck, and we'll see you next time.